We all have insecurities. These form because we look at others around us and think how perfect they are, or how perfect their lives are compared to ours. Take a moment to picture the perfect person in your eyes. Everyone has their own idea of perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect person, but we carry an unrealistic image in our mind saying that we need to be all that. And if we're not all that, we consider ourselves not good enough. Now, we should always set goals for ourselves, but if we aren't the greatest or the best at these goals at first, we shouldn't form insecurities about them. We think we need to change ourselves for, for others to like us, but we don't. This leads us to our demonstration. This paper plate can represent you, me, or any of us. Throughout the day, we see or hear things that bring us down. We hear someone whisper something about our hair, and we quickly feel self-conscious. We see all the popular people wearing the trendy clothes that we're not wearing. Throughout the day, we get more and more uncomfortable in our own skin. At the end of the day, you're left with indented negative thoughts about the truly unique person you are. Now, Presley and I have noticed this go on throughout our year at middle school. Maybe it's because everyone is just trying to figure out their places. Or simply, maybe some people mature faster and don't enjoy what other friends enjoy anymore. But the main reason is, people want to fit in. Everyone's number one goal in life is to feel accepted. And accepted doesn't mean changing yourself so others will like you. Accepted means finding people who like you for who your true self. This could be a group of two or a group of 15. It depends from person to person. But the main goal should be to find people who we bond with, not just people who are cool. But our insecurities, they, ca they create chaos in our brains. And we think to ourselves, if I were this, this group of friends will think I'm weird. If I like this, these people won't like me. I think most middle school school schoolers will have a thought along this line at one point. Now think to yourself, when have you felt insecure? Did you possibly miss out on something? Or put yourself down? Or maybe you changed the way you did something? Everyone feels insecure at one point, and it's natural too. <laughs> but if we let this get in the way of being our true selves, that's something to worry about. Now there have been times when I felt insecure. Take a look around at everyone. We have all had insecurities before, and maybe still do. But if you take a look at Allie and I, we may seem like normal seventh grade middle schoolers, but we are the same as everyone. We feel insecure. This year for Christmas, my parents allowed me to get highlights in my hair. I've always wanted to get my hair highlighted, and this was my chance. I was super excited. So two days after Christmas, I made an appointment to get my hair colored. After I got my hair highlighted, I wanted to hang out with friends to show them. That night, we all went bowling, and they all, all my friends admired how cute my hair was. I was so happy. We still had a few days left of winter break, and I could show more family and friends. Everyone thought it was so cool that my parents allowed me to get highlights. Then we had come back from winter break, and it was back to the same old routine. Wake up, go to school, learn, and go home. So some weeks had went by, and everything was normal, until I heard two people talking about my hair. She didn't need to dye her hair blonde, because everyone already knew she was a dumb blonde. Throughout the rest of the day, I had felt down on myself. I had never talked to these people, and they were judging me on how I looked. It's not right how we judge people over every little thing. We think we know someone based on how they looked or act at one event, but we don't. We think we know their whole life story, but that's not how it is. Even adults do this. They tend to judge others on what they do for a living or how they raise their kids based on what they see in public, but they don't know what goes on in their private life. This is the same for kids. We are also focused on what someone is wearing or how they act or what sports they do. We don't realize what's going on in their personal life at home or at school. Our insecurities don't only put us down on ourselves, but they also stop us from doing really cool things. This is what happened to me one day. So one time, my family and I, we were at a brewer game and we were waiting for it to start when a lady came up to and asked, would one of you like to announce the brewers while they were batting? Me, being insecure how my voice would sound and scared to talk in front of groups, said no. Looking back at it now, I would have loved to do it and it would have been a really cool thing I could have said I had done. But at the time, my insecurities held me back from doing it. Like in Allie's story, we get worried about what others think of us and how we can fit into more. We lose out on opportunities to make memories and just have fun. You are unique. You fit in somewhere in this world. Whether you find your best friend right before the first day of middle school or right before you turn 30. Someone always has your back. You should let yourself have fun, go outside your comfort zone, and try new things. That's what middle school or even life in general is about. You try new things and you meet new friends. And even if you did try something and you didn't like the outcome of it, you don't want to look back at something at 20 years from now and, and look at all the amazing, you want to look back at something in 20 years and look at all the amazing memories you had made and not the things you had left undone.
But while doing this, we need to remember who we truly are. We shouldn't change because we want to fit in. Maybe it's simply growing up, but remaining who you truly are. Now that isn't easy. It can be tempting to fall into the act of conformity with everyone around us. It can be difficult to want to fit in, but also stay true to yourself. This is what everyone should learn to do, even as hard as it is. Like we said, you should always stay true to yourselves no matter the situation. Everyone's unique, and it'd be a pretty boring world if everyone was the same. I think this room would agree. If everyone wore the same clothes, had the same hairstyle, and enjoyed the same sports, nobody would get to express themselves, and this world would be pretty dull. Now Allie and I are doing what every middle schooler should do. We are living our life and having fun, fun with friends that have the same interests as us. We believe that everyone should be their own selves and try something new because our insecurities are holding us back from who we truly are. Thank you.